Why inventory needed? Why inventory? See, it is needed to anticipate to meet the anticipated demand. See, in most of the cases, we can predict the demand. For example, if you take any festival season, if any Christmas is coming or Sankranti or any Holi is coming, generally people have the tendency to buy new things. And if you take the car example, so there are so many car bookings. Okay, in that case, we can, you know, uh, predict the demand and uh, to meet that particular demand, we need to have a material, ready-made raw material within your reach so that uh, if the demand is very high, then you just, you know, produce these cars and deliver on time. Why? Right? Because, you know, the customer happiness, satisfaction is very much important here. I will tell one classic example. See, uh, Tata Nano, when Tata Industries uh, announced this Nano, people were very much excited. Okay. In there, there was a lot of talk on the Nano cars. You know, everyone were, you know, guessing and they are debating and so many you know tv media studios like uh, it will overtake bikes and it will, it will choke the all highways and roads in all the cities something like that why because this is only one lakh rupee and any, the buying a car is uh, anyone's dream in india not only in india, everywhere okay and uh, if you can get the car for one lakh everyone will buy that okay so it it arise it arose a lot of discussion throughout the india but what happened it failed miserably of course let's forget about the quality related issue of a nano car but we will see this particular case okay nano what happened initially they start they try to manufacture in the west bengal but uh, because of some you know some uh, reasons they has to they had to shift to gujarat and in between they lost lot of they lost lot of time and they couldn't keep their promises of you know timely delivery and uh, see in any industry we need to catch the we need to catch the customers when he is very much excited and uh, before his exit, excitement fade away we need to deliver the product if you are unable to deliver the product then he will be dissatisfied with our service and the delivery then you will get a very nice to mark that's what happened in the nano so by the time they produced the cars it took a lot of time more than one year and all from the day of announcement okay everyone lost their excitement and uh, finally what happened nano couldn't achieve that much success actually it promised to okay so that's why to meet the anticipated demand so whenever they book the car now they want to get within some five to six months or at least max at max five to six months and if they get the car within the um, you know uh, within the festival period then they feel very very happy okay so to meet this anticipated demand we need to have all the raw material in within reach so that we can produce the car here okay and it guards again as a stock out situation also okay against stock out situation what is the stock out situation okay so generally what happened there, there are some companies who follows jit system so what is the jit system we will see in the next chapter but in the in case of jit system are if they try to keep very less amount of inventory what happened they should have very very reliable suppliers okay and if there is any disruption in this reliable supplier or the supply of the raw material then automatically they will face this stock out situation why that means you have a lot of demand for the car but you don't find the enough tires to fit on the wheel or you don't find enough steel okay there would be so many situations so if if if, if you have enough stock with you then it will you know 
rescue in such a situation if you have a enough material with you in the inventory okay and then of course ensure the smooth flow of a production okay smooth flow of production again this is the same thing see you are producing a car and uh, if everything is coming immediately then you can complete car within a uh, assembly for example car assembly they, they are they produce uh, you know each car uh, you know uh, within minutes actually like a 30 to 40 minutes or something like that because these days most of the things are uh, automated um, automated and uh, everything will run on conveyor belt okay you need to meet each employee has to meet his target while it's a uh, passing from his uh, with you know uh, range okay so it will ensure the smooth flow of production for example you don't have uh, some tire okay he has to stop that so if he stop that then the entire conveyor belt will stop that it will be stopped okay and if you don't find any small even small bowl then everything will be stopped okay then what happens the production process will be discontinuous and disruptive so to make the production process or any i mean i'm taking the car example if you take any industry the same thing okay so to make it a uh, you know smooth flow of production then we need to have a uh, enough inventory okay so see we have seen you know this inventory is very important because of all these discussed uh, you know uh, reasons then again we consider inventory is very bad for the industry any industry why okay why so far we have seen so many advantages of uh, inventory and again i start saying that uh, why to control the inventory okay our main aim is to control the inventory what is the from the introduction you recollect so this inventory is nothing but the things that are going into the mobile phone for making into mobile phone okay what are the things raw materials different raw materials and the manpower everything we are putting together so that we are constructing or producing a mobile phone and what is our aim to reduce the back end things like a raw material so that the cost or the saved amount will be used to increase the value value for the customer in the same product that means here we need to reduce the holding of the raw material or the inventory here okay why to why to control the inventory why to control see there are basically two main points that we can think of okay see here for example in a year you got demand for 100 cars okay but you kept parts required for the car equivalent to the 500 okay that means in, in, in your in inventory you have a uh, different uh, parts you know the, that uh, that you know finally make as a car that could be you know finally produce a car produce a car so we, our demand is only 100 in a year but you have uh, parts in a such a way that with those parts you can make 500 in actual okay that means you are keeping extra 400 parts which can utilize by sorry you are you are keeping so much of a material extra that can be produced that can produce 400 extra cars okay see here what is happening because of this we can think of one thing why right? because the management planning is very very okay poor management plan See, if the management plan or the predictions or forecasting is very good, then they could have guessed this 100 cars. Even if you couldn't guess 100 exactly, at least they could have guessed something like, a, they could have predicted something like 150 or in the worst scenario 200. Okay. But here, because of this poor planning, 
management poor planning okay what happened they predicted 500 and this is a failure on the part of management this shows extra inventory shows the failure on the part of management okay that is the one point and what is the second point okay so when they fail to predict properly then automatically it will it will cost you more okay cost cost more so what are the costs generally that we incur in the inventory okay what are those costs there are so many you can see even with uh, common sense we can see this okay for example to keep all these inventory we need a warehouse to construct a warehouse we need to have a very big land and see you you have a company in a very very uh, good locality and uh, buying a land in that good locality is very very difficult so that's why if you observe most of the warehouses are situated outside of the city here okay but in in, in case of the car manufacturing plant generally while selecting the site itself they will plan for all these eventualities okay they will take extra land so that in future they can make up some extra warehouses also so here for constructing the warehouse and for constructing the warehouse and this is a one-time cost and after that we need to employ some people okay you employ those people so that they will take care about the you know dial, uh, either maintenance or uh, they will take uh, they need to uh, you know look after all the things whichever is there in the inventory okay and then maintenance to the inventory okay see you kept you know a lot of steel in the warehouse and if you don't check periodically what happened it will get rust. Generally, steel is okay, but in case of iron and all, you know, if you go and see after one uh, one year, you know, you won't find half of this tile. Okay, because uh, you know it's uh, a bit, you know proximity to you know how proximity to reacting with the oxygen in atmosphere is very very high in case of iron. Okay, then it will form the what is that corrosion, and uh, half of this iron will be gone. Okay, so we need to maintain for that and for the maintenance also we will incur some other cost okay like that there are so many costs you know involved in this one and that's why to reduce these cost we need to optimize the inventory we need to optimize the inventory okay then when you optimize the inventories in a such a way that the total cost that is incurred to maintain the inventory should be less okay actually our main aim is to have a zero inventory is that possible actually the main concept behind the jit just in time is the zero inventory okay is that possible actually it is possible but at least we even if you can't achieve the zero inventory at least you try for the very 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 minimum inventory having the minimum in inventory that is the goal of each and every industry here okay so we will see what are the different costs generally there in the inventory here for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com